This is the part of the Navy we usually see. Its ships, its planes, its submarines. And it is true that these great sinews of war are the reason for the existence of the Navy. However, although the general public doesn't very often see it, the vast shore establishment is an important part of the Navy too. For instance, its shipyards and dry docks, its supply depots, its research laboratories, its training schools, its hospitals and clinics. All of these are important. So important, in fact, that not a plane can rise from its field, not a ship can leave the dock. Unless many jobs ashore, vital jobs, have first been done and well done. Women, now a part of the regular Navy, are performing these vital shoreside jobs everywhere, every day of the year. Working side by side with men, sharing the same responsibilities, earning the same pay, and looking forward to the same advancement in ratings. Not many civilians know it, but a large number of Navy jobs are now open to women, except those listed as primarily seagoing billets and those which require considerable physical strength. Let's look at some of these jobs which women have in the Navy. This is the hospital corpsman's rating badge, earned and proudly worn by the thousands of men and women who serve the Navy's sick and injured and help preserve the health and well-being of all naval personnel everywhere, wherever the Navy goes. Side by side with the doctors and nurses, the hospital corpsmen wage the Navy's unending war against sickness, injury, disease, and death. And much of the credit for the Navy's high standard of good health is due to the unselfish service of these men and women. A wave hospital corpsman may serve at a big Navy dispensary like this, which is always busy serving naval and marine personnel and their dependents. Wave hospital corpsmen administer medicines as prescribed by Navy doctors. And when it is required, she gives first aid under the doctor's supervision. After the patient is treated, a corpsman takes the necessary information and makes the report. Or, she may be assigned to a laboratory or clinical job, as in the X-ray department of a large naval hospital. Here, she operates many pieces of elaborate and expensive equipment. Or, she may find that her orders take her to the children's ward in the dependent section of a Navy hospital. Here, in this kind of duty, which her careful Navy training and her natural abilities make her especially adapted to perform, she finds that ministering to these small dependents means sharing the parent's anxiety. And upon the child's recovery, she also shares their joy. And she finds that part of the satisfaction of her job is the knowledge that she has been able to help others when they were most in need. This is the dental technician rating badge. As in the hospital corpsman rating, waves have earned marked success in the dental technician rating. Like all training given in the Navy, preparation for this rating gives the young woman a specialty that will be valuable to her always. To assist each Navy dentist, at least two dental technicians are needed. They do much of the cleaning of teeth in the Navy. Dental officers check the work of the technicians and prescribe x-rays if needed. These x-rays are made and processed by the dental technician. Dental technicians assist the dentist while he is treating the patient's teeth. In addition to this, 
They are responsible for the dental medicines and materials and for the care of the instruments. They schedule the dentist's work and keep all dental records. On occasions, dental technicians administer emergency dental first aid, including easing the pain and putting in a temporary filling until a Navy dentist can see the patient and save the tooth. Women have natural aptitudes and dexterity along these lines, which is one of the reasons why Navy dentists say, send us more waves. This is the Telemans rating badge. It is worn by the men and women who operate the Navy's teletype machines and similar devices. These machines receive and send a large proportion of the Navy's vital messages. Telemann work at small stations like this, where one small teletype machine is the vital nerve center linking the station with the rest of the Navy all over the world. Or, Telemann may work in big relay stations like this in Washington, where messages from shore activities and ships at sea arrive from over a wide area to be relayed all over the globe. This message, addressed to the Commander-in-Chief, Pacific Fleet, whose headquarters are in Pearl Harbor, arrives in the relay room and is released to a messenger from the overseas circuit. These telemen are working the circuits which handle overseas dispatches. One circuit is connected with London, one with the Panama Canal Zone, one with the Mediterranean, and so on. Because the dispatch to the Commander-in-Chief Pacific Fleet has a high priority, this teleman who operates the Pearl Harbor circuit begins transmitting it immediately. A very little later by the clock, but just after sunup in the Hawaiian Islands, the message is received in the communications office of the Commander-in-Chief Pacific Fleet, one of the spots where waves can serve on overseas duty assignments. Thus, all over the world, Telemen are working every day, night and day, at hundreds of teletype machines of many kinds and sizes to keep the Navy's communication system functioning. This is the Radio Man rating badge. It also denotes skill in the field of communications. The Radio Man's specialty is radio code. She becomes expert at sending, and receiving messages in international Morse code, thus playing a vital role in one of the Navy's most important means of intercommunication. This is the rating badge of the Trey Dev Man. This badge stands for one of the most interesting and important jobs a wave can have in the Navy. The name is taken from the words training device, which is what these strange looking pieces of equipment are. With these devices, the tray dev man can set up an environment which copies actual operational conditions so that the student can learn by actually doing and still not endanger himself or his equipment. Perhaps the best known of all training devices is the link trainer. The link trainer is used to teach instrument flying to pilots. A great many of the waves who have earned the Trey Devman rating badge serve as link trainer instructors. This is a complicated and exacting job, and the pilot's success is a measure of the instructor's skill as a teacher. Here, we see her reviewing her check sheet for the problem. He is making what is called a cross-country flight. 
His pre-arranged flight plan calls for him to fly from the San Francisco Range Station to the Fresno, California Range Station, all in the link trainer, of course. During the flight, the instructor's voice, serving as the voice of various control operators, goes to the pilot over his radio. This voice guides him on his route as the crab records his flight path to Fresno and back to San Francisco at a successful landing. What she has taught him may not only save his professional career, one day it could even save his life. Literally dozens of kinds of training devices are used by the Navy, most of them in some phase of gunnery or aviation training. This is the Air Controlman's rating badge, worn by the men and women who have the very important and responsible job of controlling the Navy's air traffic. One of the places where women who wear the Air Controlman rating badge are likely to be assigned is the control tower of a naval air station. In this tower, for example, three waves, an air traffic control operator, a ground control operator, and a flight data operator control all landings and takeoffs at the field. Let us watch them as they handle the arrival of an air evacuation plane bringing in an emergency stretcher case. Anacostia Tower, this is Navy 9070, one zero miles southeast. Request landing instructions. Request priority on landing. Urgent litter case, over. The air traffic control operator answers the Mercy flight, gives them the wind direction and velocity, and assigns a traffic pattern and runway. The flight data operator informs the duty officer of the plane's approach so that he can have an ambulance standing by. Meanwhile, the air traffic control operator searches the air and the field for conflicting traffic, getting ready to clear the way for the Mercy flight to land. Navy 3619, whole east of field, to further advised, over. Anacostia Tower, Navy 3619, Wilco, out. Navy 5952, hold your position, over. Anacostia Tower, this is Navy 5952, Wilco, out. The Mercy plane, now on final, requests landing clearance. The air traffic control operator gives that clearance. The ground control operator alerts the emergency equipment by letting them know that the plane is in its final stage of approach. The ambulance responds instantly, followed by the ever-ready emergency equipment. The big comfortable R4D comes in, makes a smooth landing, and taxis toward the waiting ambulance. To the wave operators in the tower goes the credit for having directed this mercy flight to a swift and safe approach. For having analyzed the air traffic situation quickly and controlled it accurately in an atmosphere of urgency. And like practically everything else the control tower operators do, that takes a cool head and split-second thinking. This is the storekeeper rating badge. The people who wear this rating badge are called storekeepers because, as the name implies, their work is to see that the Navy is properly provided with the many kinds of supplies which it must have in such large quantities. Clothing technical and mechanical equipment, and foodstuffs. Storekeepers ordered these supplies. Other storekeepers have the responsibility of seeing that proper stocks are maintained. Now, this storekeeper receives and checks this delivery of foodstuffs for the Navy. She also receives, checks, and gives preliminary inspection to shipments of many other types of materials delivered to the Navy. Storekeepers take many inventories. They are also responsible for both the storing and the issuing of a large variety of naval supplies and materials, 
ranging all the way from small stores to ship's bells. Besides this, storekeepers keep many kinds of records, make required reports, and compile necessary statistics on the Navy's supplies. We have now seen waves at work in a few of the ratings which they earn in the Navy. There are a great many other specialties that women may be trained for, such as yeoman, machine accountant, ship serviceman, parachute rigger, aerographer's mate, photographer, commissary man, and personnel man, to mention only a few. The thing to remember is that every job in the Navy is an important job. And that whatever work a wave does is vital work. Work that must be done in order that Navy ships may sail and Navy planes may fly to keep the great naval arm of the nation's defense alert and strong.